Hello, hello, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. How are you doing today? Hi, teacher. I am hey. great. And you? Hey, how you doing, Isaura? Very good. Very good. Hi, are you teacher. ready for your English class? Yes, I'm I am ready. ready. All right. I'm happy to hear that. I am happy to hear that. Today is Tuesday. What did you do today? Today is Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh, today is Wednesday. Wow. Time is going by so fast. Did anybody go to the movies today? Yes. Oh, really? What did you, what movies did you go watch? I am going to watch movie The Children's of Children. <laughs> the Children's of Children. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm happy to hear that. All right. Welcome back. Hello, Norma. Hello, Edma. Hello, Maria. Hello. Welcome, welcome, guys. Hello, George. Hello, Yancy. Hello, Edwin. Good evening, Hello, Josia. Good evening. Hello, Christina. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Herbert. Hello, Blanca Guadalupe. Hello, Nubia. Hello, Nelson Adan. Hello, Alba Luz. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. I hope that all of you are ready Hello, for your English class. Welcome, welcome. Who can tell me what you remember about yesterday's class? Who can tell me what information do you remember from yesterday's class? What did we talk about? What do you remember? The topic yesterday is, is there, are there. That's right. Very good. Is there and are there. Is there is for singular and are there is for plural. Who can give me a question that you remember from yesterday's class? Mm, there is a part. Okay, there is a part. Is there uh, a traffic on your neighbor? Is there traffic in your neighborhood? Okay. And also, we were looking at the conversation, uh, this conversation right here, uh, coming from section number 3.6. Conversation 3.6. It's pretty safe. Uh, let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, George, you are going to be Nick. Who? Me. Oh, who said me? Okay. Okay, go ahead. Uh, how do you like your new apartment? I love it. Sorry. Go ahead. Continue. I love it. It is downtown. So it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no. There isn't, isn't any light on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place you are on the the cor the corner. How about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a uh, place on the street. Is this is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I call, I will call you back later. All right, perfect, perfect. Okay. Hi. We can change the rule. Change the rule, the yeah. role. Uh -huh. Role, uh huh. Okay. Uh, no, no, we're gonna let uh, another pair participate. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, just. Two observations. 
uh, listen and repeat. Just. 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 Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, garages. 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 Okay. Uh, now let me have Nubia. You're going to be Nick. Nubia, you're going to be Nick. And okay. Edma, you're going to be Pam. Okay. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown. So it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there is any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? Hello. In fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there are many parking garage <laughs> garages 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 garages. But I usually I find a place in another street. From the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. All on. That's my car alarm. Oh, call you back later. Excellent. Very good. Good pronunciation. No observations. Okay, let me have the next one. Jenny Carolina is going to be Nick. And Norma is going to be Pam. Norma Lizano or Calleja, teacher? Norma Lizano. Okay. I am Nick. <clears throat> you are Nick. How do you like? Okay. Uh -huh. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact. There's an excellent Korean place plus just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there are many parking. Garage. Garages. 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 But I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hell on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. All right, guys. Uh, does anybody have any questions regarding this vocabulary? Uh, questions regarding the pronunciation or anything like that? Questions? No teacher. No questions. All right. I would like for us to go ahead and move forward. And we're going to look at quantifiers. Quantifiers. We're going to look at the next section on the platform, which is going to be 3.7 lesson objective. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give out answers. En esta clase, veremos cuantificadores. Aprenderán a preguntar y contestar con ellos. Let's look at the activity. Video, quantifiers, how many and how much. Now, let me give you a, a couple of examples using how many and how much. For example, I say, uh, how many students 
are in the class? Uh, how many eggs are in the refrigerator? I could say how many uh, how many cars are in the garage? How many how many t shirts how many t-shirts how many t-shirts do you have in your closet uh, how many people live in your house how many pupusas can you eat or how many movies do you watch on the weekends everybody listen and repeat how many students are in the class how many students are in the class how many eggs are in the refrigerator how many, how many cars are in the refrigerator? How many cars are in the garage? How many cars are in the garage? How many t-shirts do you have in your closet? How many t-shirts do you have in your closet? How many people live in your house? How many t-shirts do you have in your closet? How many t-shirts do you have in your closet? How many people live in your house? Did I ask that, that one already? Yes. Yes. Okay. How many pupusas can you eat? How many movies do you watch on the weekends? How many movies do you watch on the weekends? All right. So all of these guys are considered the countable. Countable, right? Yes. I want you to notice uh, we have the word students. Has an S is countable. Eggs yes. has an S is countable. Yes. Cars has an S is countable. T-shirts has an S is countable. People is an irregular noun, so that's why it doesn't have an S. The singular would be person. Pupusas has an S is countable. And movies has an S, which is also countable. So basically, we can count. If it has an S, that means that we can count. Let me have one volunteer. Let me have one volunteer. Me. Okay, George Alberto, I would like for you to ask Mr. Santos the questions. I would like for you to ask Mr. Santos the questions. Yes, I, I, I would like. Uh, 
Okay. Mm -hmm. How many students are in the class, teacher? Uh, right now, there are 25 students. So I respond like this. I say, I'm going to share it with you. I say, a second. There are 25 students in the class. The next question. Okay. Let me see. Mm. How many eggs are in the refrigerator? Uh, there are a dozen eggs in the refrigerator. How many cars are in the garage? Uh, there are two cars in the garage. How many t-shirts do you have in your closet? I have 20 t-shirts in my closet. <laughs> <laughs> How many people live in your house, teacher? Uh, I live alone. I live alone. Okay, you are single. Uh, well, not really single, but I live alone. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. Um, how many pupusas can you eat on the uh, dinner? <laughs> I can eat three pupusas. A few pupusas. How many movies do you how many movies do you watch on the weekends? I usually watch two movies on the weekend one okay. on saturday and one on sunday okay all right what kind of movie do you like teacher i prefer to watch uh, for example I like to watch documentals. Uh, oh, on Discovery Channel? Yeah, like history, uh, referring to historic events, or maybe uh, movies based on books or movies based on real life uh, people. Okay, sure. that's mm -hmm. all questions. All right, excellent. Uh, George, okay. select somebody, George. Okay. Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Alba? Alba, okay. Alba Luz. Alba Luz. Can you hear me, Alba Luz? Okay. Okay, Alba Luz, I would like for you to ask the questions to George, and I would like for George to respond to the questions. Okay. Um, George, how many um, teach, uh, teacher uh, or question? Yes, I want you to start with the first question. How many students are in the class? Many, okay, how many students are in the class? Uh, teacher said are 25 students. No, there are. Okay, there are 25 students, excuse me. <laughs> okay, how many eggs are in the refrigerator? <clears throat> okay. I think there are 
are 15 eggs in the refrigerator. How many cars are in the garage? garage? Just one, garage. only one. There are, there is, there is one, there is one. There is one, good, good. Okay. How many shirts do you have in your closet? I don't, I don't know, I don't remember, but I think there are uh, around the 10, 12 t-shirts. 10, okay. How many people live in your house? Live or live? Live. Live. Okay. There live. Are, there are four, four people right now. Um, how many pupusas can you eat? Okay. I think I, I, I can eat. I can to eat uh, four pupusas. Do I say I can to eat or I can eat? I can eat. Good, good. I can eat. Teacher, I can huh? to eat. Son dos verbos. No sé si era I can to eat. Eh, no, 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 no. I can to eat. No, eh, can es un modo. No es un verbo. Okay. I can. I can eat four pupusas. Uh -huh. For example, uh, you say, uh, we can say, for example, uh, let me see. You say, Estoy, I uh, auxiliar, correct, modal auxiliary, that is correct. Uh, you say, I can cook, right? I don't say, I can to cook, I can okay. cook. Yo puedo cocinar. I can dance. It's a motor bell. That is Fair. correct. I can swim. I can, can run. I can drive. drive. I can run. Uh -huh. I can yeah. run. So we do not use I the preposition see. to uh, whenever we are going to use the modal auxiliary. Uh, can okay thank you yeah okay uh, how many movies do you watch on the weekend uh, uh, i see <coughs> one or two movies on the weekend okay thanks okay Finish excellent 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 uh, I would like for George, select somebody. Al Balus, select somebody. <clears throat> Maria Elizabeth Morataya. Maria Elizabeth Morataya. And Blanca Guadalupe Benavides. And Blanca Guadalupe Benavides. Okay. Yes, yes. Blanca asked the questions. Maria responds to the questions. <clears throat> Yo respondo entonces. <laughs> Correct. Maria okay. respond to the questions. Blanca ask the questions. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. How many students are in the class? There are um, 25 students in the class. How many eggs are in the refrigerator? There Re are refrigerator. 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 Refri. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. <laughs> yes. Yes. There are dozen eggs in the refrigerator. How many cars are in the garage? There are two cars in the garage. 
How many teachers do you have in your closet? I have 15 t-shirts in my closet. How many people people live in your house? In my house live a six person. Uh, do I saw do I say in my house live six persons or do I say uh there where is it at? Oh, okay, you can say you can say it like this. Uh there are six there people. Are six. There are six people in my house. There are six people in my house. How many how many pupusas can you eat? Eight. Eight or eat? Eat. 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 How many pupusas can you eat? I can eat two pupusas. How many movies do you watch on the weekends? Mm, I not watch movie. I watch series right ah, now. Okay. Do I say I not watch or I don't watch? Don't watch. I don't watch movies, but I like it series okay continue oh that's it yeah okay all right uh at this moment does anybody have any questions in regards to the countable nouns Questions in regards to the countable nouns. Hmm? Questions about the countable nouns? No. Nobody? Okay. Uh, now I would like for us to look at the non-countable nouns. Now we're going to look at the non-countable nouns. For example, if I say to you, uh, how much water do you drink daily? Uh, how much money do you spend daily? How much time do you spend in traffic daily? Uh, how much food do you eat daily? How much electricity Do you spend monthly? How much gas do you put in your car? How much Sugar, do you put in your coffee? 
All right, everybody listen and repeat. How much water do you drink daily? How, how, how much, much water, water do you drink daily? How much money do you spend daily? How much money do you spend daily? Uh, how much time do you spend in traffic daily? How, how much, much time, time do you spend in a traffic, in traffic daily? daily? Uh, how much food do you eat daily? How, how much, much food, food do you eat daily? Daily. 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 Mm -hmm. Mira, te mostré la foto. Eso. Y ya lo mandaron al grupo. Ah, ya lo mandaron al grupo. Mm. Okay. How much food do you eat daily? How much electricity do you spend monthly? How much, How much electricity, electricity do you spend, spend monthly? monthly? How much gas do you put in your car? How much sugar do you put in your coffee? How, How much, much sugar, sugar do you put in your, your, your coffee? All right, let me have one volunteer, please. One volunteer. Oh. I me, Jose Luis. Okay, okay, we're gonna have first Edma and Yeni. After, okay. we're gonna have Jose Luis and Susana. That's right. Go ahead, uh, Jenny, ask the questions. Okay. How much water do you do? Sir, sir. Como voy a contestar, teacher. Ah, okay. Uh, go ahead. Uh, First, I'm gonna have Yeni ask me the questions. I will respond. And then we're gonna have Yeni and Edma so that I can help you okay. respond. Okay. Go ahead, uh, Yeni, ask me the questions. Okay. How much water do you drink daily? Uh, you could say, I, oops. Uh, I drink about, 2.5 liters of water daily, more or less, sometimes more, sometimes less, because I like coffee. <laughs> <laughs> How much money do you spend daily? Uh, I normally spend about... Ten dollars. Ten dollars okay. daily. How much time do you spend in traffic daily? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't know. And <laughs> no, no, I don't spend any time in traffic daily. Mis dos trabajos son en casa. So, oh. <laughs> I don't spend any time in traffic daily. So, I don't I don't waste time in traffic. I wake up, turn on the computer, go to work. And make a coffee. How much food do you eat daily? Yes, I love coffee. Um... How much food do I eat daily? I don't think I eat a lot of food. Um, I try to eat only twice a day. But sometimes only once a day. Estoy haciendo algo, una dieta que se llama ayuno intermitente. Internet. <laughs> uh, yeah, something like that. Uh -huh. So I really don't. I try to eat not too much. Okay. 
How much electricity do you spend monthly? Uh, I usually spend about 200 watts. Depends, 200 watts, more or less. Because I only have my laptop, my television, and the light bulb, and the refrigerator. That's Mm -hmm. How much gas do you put in your car? Uh, I normally fill up the tank with eight dollars. Tengo una moto. Eight dollars is full. <laughs> That's it. Okay. How much sugar do you put in your coffee? Uh, I put only one spoon of sugar in my coffee. Okay. okay, thank you for your participation, Jenny. I'm going to share with everyone the answers so that you can have them. Okay, go ahead, guys. Let me, let's continue. Uh, go ahead. Uh, now we're going to have Edma ask the questions. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have Yeni respond to the question. Okay. I do really um, envio la, la, ah, sí, sí, sí. Mm -hmm. how, how much water do you drink daily? I drink about 2.5 liters of water daily. How much money do you spend daily? I normally spend about ten dollars daily. How much time do you spend in the traffic daily? I don't spend spend any time in traffic daily. How much electric electricity do you spend monthly? Electricity. Uh, electricity. Sorry. Mm. Oh, okay, so I usually spend about 2,000 watts. 2,000 watts or 200? 200. 200. 2,000 just como una empresa. Sí. Okay. How much gas do you put in your car? I normally fill up, fill up the tank with eight dollars. How much sugar do you put in your coffee? I put only one spoon of sugar in my coffee. Excellent. Okay. Good job. Good job. So I want you to notice, guys, mm -hmm. that the question is water non-countable, money, non-countable, time, non-countable, food, non-countable, electricity, non-countable, gas, non-countable, sugar, non-countable. So we use how much with the non-countable noun. And we use many with the countable nouns. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. I understood. Okay, Just all right. Little. Just a little, okay. Eh, bueno, les voy a dar una pista para que no se le dificulte mucho. Si el objeto o el nombre es demasiado grande, 
por ejemplo, el espacio, eh, información, electricidad, no se puede contar. Y si es demasiado pequeño, como la arena, el arroz, el azúcar, el café, que no se puede contar. ¿Ok? En el caso del agua, contamos los litros. One liter, two liters, four liters. Eso es contable. En el caso del dinero, contamos dólares, dollars, monedas, coins. Pero la palabra money es no contable. Food, no contable. Electricity, no contable. Contamos los watts. Food, contamos las calorías, calories. Eh, gas, contamos los galones, gas. Sugar, contamos las cucharadas. So, si es muy grande, para contar es non-countable. Si es muy pequeño, para contar es non-countable. Solo objetos que se pueden contar. Eggs, apples, cars, chairs, cell phones. All right. Esas cosas sí se pueden contar. Eh, any questions? Oh. All right, let me have Jose Luis ask the questions. Susana respond to the questions. Jose Luis ask the questions. Okay. Susana respond to the questions. Okay. You're ready, Susana? Susana, can you hear me? Yes. Hello, hello, Susana. Can you hear me? Okay. How much water do you drink daily? Okay, ahí está. Hola. Ahora, ahora sí la escuchamos. Gracias. Ah. <laughs> Podemos empezar. Okay. How much water do you drink daily? Ah, teacher, y vamos a responder lo, lo que usted escribió, ¿verdad? Eh, no necesariamente. Usted puede responder eh, sus respuestas personales si quiere. Ok. I drink about three or four layers of water daily. <coughs> Buenos riñones. Yes. <laughs> How much money do you spend daily? I normally spend about ten daily, ten dollars daily. Ten dollars. Okay. Note que no dijo ten money daily. Dijo ten dollars. Porque dollars sí se puede contar. One dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars. How much? How much do you spend in traffic daily? I usually spend 20 minutes in traffic daily. Uh, how much electricity do you spend monthly? <clears throat> I usually spend about 200 watts. Uh, how much gas do you put in your car? I don't spend Mama, gas me, 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 me. because one? I don't have <laughs> I don't have cars. Lito, don't worry. How much sugar do you put in your coffee? Mama. I I put only half, es la mitad, ¿verdad, Ticha? Yes. Right. ¿Perdón? Correct. Half es la mitad. Okay. I put only half spoon of sugar in my coffee. I finished, teacher. Perfect. Perfect. Good job, guys. Perfect. Okay. Uh, 
Any questions at this moment? Any question, teacher. Okay. I'm going to take the attendance. Please say present if you are present. When okay. I call your name, please say present if you are present. Albalus. Present, teacher. All right. Thank you. Today is the eighth. Uh, let me have Anna Yamilet. Present teacher. Excellent. Blanca Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Christina Claribel. Christina Claribel. ¿Está escribiendo en el grupo ella? En el chat de Zoom. Ah, ok. Eh, por favor, me avisan eh, si alguien escribe en el chat, porque yo no estoy viendo el chat. Estoy viendo esto. Se los voy a enseñar. Esto estoy viendo yo. So, Cristina is present. Present, present, teacher. Thank you, Cristina. Um, Edma Azalia. Present teacher. All right. Edwin Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Efraín. Emilio. En el chat. Oh, en el chat escribió. Okay. Oyente, thank you. Fatima, Elisa. Fatima, Elisa. Absent. Eh, Fatima, Noemi. Present is here. Okay. Uh, Herbert Eliseo. Present teacher. Okay. Isaura Evelia. Present teacher. Okay. Josia Alexiomar. Present teacher, present. All right. George Alberto. Present teacher. Nice. Jose Enrique. Jose Enrique. Is absent. Jose Luis. Present over here. Okay, good job, good job. Maria Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Nelson Adan. In the, zoom, in the Zoom chat. In the Zoom chat. Uh, Nelson Adan. Okay, I see we can start escribiendo the in Gracias, Nelson. Eh, Norma Callejas. Present. Thank you. Norma Lizano. Present, teacher. Okay. Nubia Cristina. Present, teacher. Oscar Alexander. Present teacher. Right. Sylvia Lisette. Present teacher. All right. 
Susanna, Isabel. Present. Yancy, Melanie. Present teacher. All right. Jenny, Carolina. Present teacher. All right. Jocelyn, Yvette. Jocelyn, Yvette. Is absent. Jocelyn, no. No. Okay. All right, guys. Now, what we're going to do, thank you. We are going to go ahead and take a look at the video and do some activities in the platform. Listen, please. Hello to all of you. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give our answers. Get ready to listen and take notes if you need to. Quantifiers. How many and how much? Count nouns. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Non-count nouns. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. We can say that when nouns in question are count nouns, we can answer using a lot, a few, many, any. Eh, quiero que noten la excepción. La excepción sería a lot. A lot, right? Si no se quiere complicar eh, <laughs> y no quiere memorizarse todas estas y todas estas, puede usar a lot para los dos, para con, eh, countable y non-countable. Por ejemplo, usted puede decir, eh, I, eh, I have a lot of friends. Friends is countable or non-countable? Yes, countable. Countable. Is countable. Countable, right? Y si quiero decir, I drink a lot of coffee. No, right, countable. coffee is countable or non-countable? Non-countable. No. Non-countable. So, el a lot se puede usar para ambas. De allí, eh, a few, many, any, y, bueno, any y none, any y none, también se pueden usar para non-countables y countables. El único que cambia es a few, con a little, y many y much. Por ejemplo, usted dice, tengo pocos amigos. I have few friends. I have few friends. O si quieres decir, alguien le dice, um, quiero poco azúcar en mi café. I want a little sugar in my coffee. All right. De allí, much y many. Ya sabemos que many is countable. Much is non-countable. Y any, any. Puede ser para los dos. None para los dos. Excuse me, teacher. I have an, a question. Yes, George Alberto. En este caso, este, a few, cuando usted puso la oración, solo puso, I have few friends. Mm -hmm. eh, Entonces, la A ya se, se quita. No, oh, sí se puede usar eh, haciéndolo más formal. Eh, el A lo hace más formal. I have few friends. Es más como hablado. Y I have 
a few friends. Es más como para escrito. Ok. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yes. Another question. Teacher, eh, eso le iba a preguntar con respecto a few, porque mm -hmm. si yo lo traduzco así, literalmente, mm -hmm. me decía algunos. Entonces, si yo si pone a few, tengo pocos amigos, como mm -hmm. que le corta. That is correct. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah. A few es más como para decir pocos. Eh, en uh -huh. cuestión de, de contable. Ah, ok. Es cierto. Okay, gracias. All right. Eh, guys, no les recomiendo mucho que utilicen eh, lo que es los traductores. Porque los traductores no traducen los conceptos. Eh, los traductores traducen las palabras. So, si yo te digo, por ejemplo, hey, uh, what's up? Tú lo metes en el traductor, va a decir que está arriba. Right? Pero no es eso lo que estoy preguntando. Si yo te digo, hey, what's up? Es como un saludo. It's like, hola, ¿cómo estás? ¿Qué hay? ¿Cómo va todo? Right? So, por en veces, eh, no nos dejemos guiar solo por el, el Google Translator, porque eso nos va a pasar. Eh, yo estaba, yo daba, eh, bueno, yo hacía eh, traducciones con la embajada americana. Eh, y eso era algo que ellos ma me mandaban a mí las traducciones de otros traductores para que yo verificara la información porque la gente solo metía el documento en Google Translate y it was incorrect sometimes. Not always, not always. Sometimes it's correct, but not always. Okay, let's move forward. None. This will depend on how many there really are. Remember, a lot is a big amount and none is nothing. When nouns in question are non-count nouns, we can use a lot, a little, much, any, none. Remember that when we talk about non-count nouns, both questions and answers are singular. All right. I would like for you to give me, uh, let's say, five examples. You select... I want you to use no, there is five, five different quantifiers from the list. Five different quantifiers you select. And I want you to give me five sentences here in the discussion forum. You will work in pairs and share your answers with the class. Are you ready? Are you ready? I am ready, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right, let's do it. Is everybody finished? Okay. Is everybody finished? No. Okay. Fatima, uh, don't respond. Fatima, don't respond. Okay. Hello, Fatima. Can you hear me? Okay. Maybe Fatima is busy.
All right, guys, I, I hadn't looked at the time. I see that the time is almost finished and I got to get ready for my next class. So sorry about that. <laughs> but please uh, continue working on the activity, continue working on the exercise and try to practice structures. Okay, teacher. Try to memorize the vocabulary, the countable vocabulary, mm -hmm. non-countable vocabulary. Use quantifier. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Try to try to memorize. Okay, okay. got it. And, and practice. Obviously, the more you practice, the more you memorize, uh, the more retention you're gonna have. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Have Bye, a good teacher. night. Bye. 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 B